Your hair got so long. Everyone's been saying that. Your hair grows so fast. It does. It really does. And I just got it cut too. It grows so fast. Meanwhile, I literally have to get extensions in for my hair to even look like it grew. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Kenzie. Hey. Um, so you guys know how I'm like uploading every day. This is like day four, I think. Yeah, I think this is day four of uploading every day until Christmas. And I'm in LA right now because I'm here for a Too Faced event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know, I'll leave all my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Um, so I wanted to just do like a chill video today because I can't like film a tutorial or anything like that because I don't really have like a good camera. I'm using Kenzie's right now. So we decided that instead, because we are such good boy experts, we are the best, actually. The best it gets we're gonna do a boy q a yeah. and we also like it's very fitting because mm -hmm. we got like close over a yeah. boy a while ago uh -huh. but we also like go to each other for boy stuff yeah so. exactly we basically know everything oh yeah <laughs> and like we've both had our fair share of like douchebags the worst guys in the world <laughs> yeah <laughs> we had like great boys yeah. i still have a great boy yeah. but i mean i've had like other weird boys me too. Yeah, so like Not at we've all. been there. I asked you guys to leave comments on my Instagram. I want the plus. You don't have it? No. Okay, wait. This one is one that like is so relevant to so many people. Okay, what do you do when your friends constantly choose their boyfriends over you? Drop them. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. Drop don't drop them. them. Don't drop them. That's actually really annoying. Is she humping my bag? No, she's trying to get up. Oh, I thought she was humping okay, my bag. Sorry. Um, even though like it sucks, just like be a good friend because. They're gonna break up. Yeah. And then she's not gonna have friends except for you. And she's she's gonna need someone to fall back on. But like, you know, even if you have to like reach out more, just like text her every day, be like, hey, like wanna hang out today, wanna hang out today, wanna hang out today, because eventually she's gonna get tired of saying no and she's gonna say yes one time. Maybe just like talk to her about it too. Yeah. And just like say something. But also they're going to break up. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to date someone and like get wrapped up in them at some point yeah. and not realize that you're ignoring your friends. She probably doesn't even realize that she's doing it. So no, yeah, yeah. you're gonna don't drop gonna them on a day <laughs> when you're gonna understand it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> what do you do if he changes his feelings like every minute? Drop him. And drop him. Drop him. He's canceled. <laughs> How do you get a boy's attention, Kenzie? Why are you looking at me? Kenzie, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Okay, here's my thing with boys. This is, oh yeah, this is what I was going to tell you. Okay. I've realized, I don't have a type, but I've realized my type, if that makes sense. Okay. Whenever I date someone or I like really into someone, we have to automatically flow. Like okay. really well. Because right. I'm not into like looks. Like no. I'm really not. I'm like, you yeah, know. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm, like, I know. I'm really not into that, <laughs> but I'm really into like if we like flow really well. Same with friendships. Like I can kind of tell within like five minutes. But so like my point with saying that is that I don't really go and like try to get someone's attention because if I didn't flow, if we like yeah. flew well, flew? Yeah. Flow well together, then that just happens. Does that make any sense? No, it does make sense. But like how to get their attention, I don't know. I would always like not look at them. I think that gets their attention if you ignore them. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. It really does. Okay, so Kenzie's in love with someone right now. And yesterday she was like, and he, didn't, and he didn't text me all day. And I'm so happy about it because I honestly want us to like not be in love anymore. <laughs> and then she's like, I don't want to. And then she's like, yeah, he wanted to stop chat streak. And I told him if he ever started stop chat streak with me, I would block him. Okay, if you still have feelings for a boy you once had a thing with, would you try talking to him to work things out or push it aside and move on? Depends uh, on the situation, but... It totally depends. I kind of think push it to this... Or, I, I think know. talk it out. Yeah. Because if you, nice. like, if you guys used to have a thing and you're, like, still having feelings for him, like, talking to him could make it, could make you realize that you don't want that thing with him mm -hmm. anymore. Or make you realize that he doesn't want it anymore, which makes you not want it anymore. And then, like, if you just push it to the side, you're always going to be thinking about it. You know what I mean? I agree. I think talking is just the best thing. Yeah. And then once you, like, talk it out, find someone new. It really yeah. helps. It really does. Like, that's horrible <laughs> to say, but it does. It really helps. And, like, it sucks. And, like, I don't know. If you're meant to be, that other guy is going to see with a different guy and he's going to be like, yeah. Oh shit, you know what I mean? Tell your most embarrassing boy stories. Okay, mine's just very long, but basically like this guy that I had like talked to, been friends with, whatever, for like years, and we'd like gone to school dances and stuff together. We both had like broken up with our like boyfriends, girlfriends, or whatever. This was like my junior year. Uh -huh. And so this is like right after actually I probably told you that this happened. Probably. Then. Um 
And like, anyways, it was this whole thing, and it, it doesn't even sound like, I don't know. He was dropping me off, because we went to like get Sonic or something, and like, it was really normal for us to just like hang out as friends. Like, yes, really wait, normal. Did tell me I this. did tell you this, yeah. right? Really normal, right? So it ends up being like some sort of weird Sonic booty call, but nothing <laughs> happened. And then um, we get back to my house, and he's like, it's a gated neighborhood, so he has to like put in the code. And at that point, I like thought it was super weird, like the way he was acting. And then we get to my house, and he was like, so, uh, you, you want to kiss? <laughs> and I wanted to die! I literally wanted to die! Who asked that? Who does that? You want to kiss? Like, if he would have just done it, whatever. But I was just like, <laughs> no. I only, like, I really don't talk to many boys. But More about, yeah, like, I really don't have one. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, like, <laughs> I just hate when, like, I'm talking to the guy that I like, like, in class or something. And I just can't speak, and like I mess up my words, and I That's literally sound like, like a, a babbling video. idiot. And Should we tell our first kiss story? Yeah, we can. My first kiss was with someone that I'm still friends with. It was like my first boyfriend, the really perfect, really hot, great guy. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, so we've been dating. We dated for like a year or two before you kissed. No. Oh. Uh -huh. But we were at this place in my town called Town Lake, and it's just this thing of water it's not like a real lake <laughs> and a bunch of trees and we were like walking through and then we just kissed and it was cute, that is it, cute. it actually wasn't like bad but yeah he's like really beautiful so that's cute yeah. mine was the very end of my <laughs> freshman year and um i like met this boy i didn't know this boy but i like <laughs> that sounds bad i met him and like instantly him and i like hit it off and like we liked each other, and um, he <laughs> was, we liked each other. Like and like, <laughs> he was friends with my guy friends at the time, so like they were all forcing me to like go over to his house all the time, and it got like super awkward. So like we had this like kiss tension, like we were supposed Some to sexual tension, yeah, but, but kissing because we're in ninth grade. <laughs> we were supposed to have like kissed at this point, but we never did. So he was at my house, and like all my friends were over, but then one by one they all started leaving, and I'm like, okay, well. God damn, now I'm gonna be alone with this boy. So then um, his parents were like out to dinner, so then they were coming to like pick him up, and he was, who's calling me? And okay, it was so weird because it was a Spider Man kiss, so like he was laying down. No! My <laughs> How do you kiss. do that for your first kiss? My first kiss, so like his, pretend this is like a head and this is a body. So he was laying this way, and I was laying like this, so like our heads were like on top of each other's I guess it was just so freaking weird and then all my friends were texting him like kiss her kiss her kiss her and all my friends were texting me kiss him I'm like ah! <laughs> and then he was like everyone's like telling me to kiss you like would you kiss me back and I'm like yeah and then he gets me. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know <laughs> and then he left and then after that I was like I don't like you anymore so I stopped talking to him how do you friend zone a kid we're really good at this how do you friend zone a kid you don't know well, but you know he's into you? Stop answering him. Yeah. Uh-huh. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You, honestly, you just can't reply. You can't no. leave them on. I had to friend zone someone that I was friends with here, and I, like, made it very clear the whole time, and I don't understand how he ever got that idea, yeah. ever. Don't even, like, be friendly with them. Like, say yeah. hey, but, like, don't talk to them when you don't have to. Like, yeah. don't have a conversation all day with them. Do you think it's possibly friends with an ex? Yes. Yeah. Okay, should you date in high school or wait till college to find someone? I personally don't think that you have to date in high school, but I don't think it's a bad thing either. Uh, yeah. I think, I think that you thing. learn a lot, you mm -hmm. know? Like, you I do. look, like, I would never date the boys that, or, one. I would never date the boy that I dated in high school mm -hmm. ever again, but I'm glad that I did because it was a good experience. Like, you just, mm -hmm. like, learn a lot, and then you yeah. figure out what you want more and more. So yeah. I don't think it's bad to date in high school at all. I don't think it's a waste of time. No, I don't think it's a yeah. waste of time because it teaches you, like what Kenzie said. Yeah. Like, I know um, one girl who didn't, like, kiss boys in high school. Like, she had her first kiss in college. Now she's, like, like into boys, you know, whatever, all this stuff. And, like, she doesn't know what she yeah. likes and she doesn't know what to do. And, like, she's very, like, not behind, but just, like, insecure of it all. And innocent. And, yeah, yeah, really innocent. So I think, like, high school exposes you to, like, what you need for a serious relationship down the line. I don't see anyone besides long distance and getting I know. Okay, so let's just talk about long distance in general because a lot of okay. you guys are asking about it. We both have done long distance. Oh, she has videos all over the internet about her long distance. <laughs> Gone, okay? Uh, if you want to look, <laughs> it's just What's it called? Really What's it called? 
<laughs> okay, I personally <sighs> like long distance. Like, I right now would rather be in a long distance relationship than dating someone here. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't want to be distracted. But I also, when people say long distance doesn't, I was talking to my friend Joe about this the other night. When people say like long distance doesn't work. I don't think that at all, and I don't think that long distance doesn't work. I think that like clearly some relationships just aren't meant to work. Right. You know? Like I think that long distance is fine. Like I would rather be in long distance and I loved being in a long distance relationship, like it was fun. So I wouldn't rather be in a long distance relationship, but like honestly right now, like I wanna be with Matt, but I wanna like do my own thing. That's so why I it's like the only it. option that I have and like I'm totally fine with it. Um I think like if I didn't really like who I was dating, I would be like, okay, no, like, I don't want to do it. I don't think it's for everyone, but I think it definitely no. can work. Yeah. Know? I mean, it's hard. Yeah. Like, it's really, really hard, especially, like, I don't know, like, me and Matt never had a long-distance relationship. Like, you and Justin knew you were going to have yeah. a long-distance, you know what I mean? But, like, Matt and I were, like... I think it's easier to start off that way. I think I was so too. that, too. I yeah. definitely think that, because, like, me and Matt were together every single day, like, attached at the hip, like, we were, like, best friends, and we just hung out all day, every day. So then going, like, to only seeing each other, like, in the beginning, it was, like, once a month. And then it became, yeah. like, once every two weeks because I hated being at school, so I'd always come home. Um, so, like, going from every single day to once a month, like, you know, yeah. fights would break out for no reason just because, like, you fight over dumb yeah, stuff. Yeah, it like, gets tense It does. Sure. It gets really tense. Yeah, no, FaceTime mm -hmm. is your best friend. Um, also, I think, like, if you can, I think it's important, like, because I would see who I was dating like all the time mm -hmm. and I think like having a job or being able to fly or being able uh, depending on like how far you are is really important like you mm -hmm. have to make sure also always having trips planned yeah, to see each helps. other makes it so much easier because if you don't know when you're not when you're gonna see each other next it feels like hopeless yeah 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 and like um if you're like out at parties or something and like a guy hits on you or something you have to act as if like your boyfriend is right there you know yeah. because if like Whenever you I go out, you have to really trust each other. You really yeah. do. Like, if you don't have trust, like, it's really not gonna work. Like, whenever I go out, like, Matt always gets like a little annoyed and like, kind of like really overprotective of me because like he doesn't want anyone like touching me or like talking to me or anything like that. So whenever like a guy will come up to me or talk to me or anything, like, normally, like, well, the last time a guy came up to me, he was a football player, and he he like said that he was a football player, and he was like, oh yeah, like I'm safety or something I was like oh yeah my boyfriend's a wide receiver and then that gets them and then they're like yeah. oh and then they move on you know what I mean yeah. it's like you have to defend yourself because he's not there to do it for himself so you have to do it for him you mm -hmm. know what I mean yeah you just have to yeah and I'm also like personally I like this is just like me feeling like this is another thing like I wish I can go through like my hoe phase but like I just like can't hook up with random people like no. I feel really okay the um like one last long distance relationship thing that I like found out is that like don't text all day every day yeah text that's what every, I was saying earlier yeah. that's what I don't like doing text every day but don't burn out yeah because you guys aren't together so the conversation isn't going to flow as naturally as it would if you guys were like in person talking and just like randomly call them, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, randomly do it. Like on my way to class, I'll always call Matt. Okay, so oh. like, that was our boy Q and A. We'll do more. Oh, for we'll sure. Do, we'll do more. This will watch us be the best part video one. Ever. This is part one of seventy three. So yeah, be sure to check out Kenzie's channel. She's also starting vlogmas, so I'm gonna have her channel vlog Thanks. channel linked down below. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Be sure to subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's over here. So just subscribe right down there. And um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.